Hi, Olga here. I'm back with a new tutorial and that is the ocean themed party set. Let's start with the thank you cards. I've used the second and the third largest die from Pinpoint Rectangle Layers by Memory Box to cut out the panel and a matching frame out of white cardstock. To decorate the panel, I'll be using the two dies Waverly Border by Poppy Stamps and Sheer Circle Wreath by Memory Box. I'm positioning the border at about one quarter of an inch from the bottom and placing the, the circle right in the center. Those dies cut out beautiful negative patterns and create wonderful texture. If you are interested in tools and supplies that I'm using, you can find uh, the supply list in the description for this video and on my blog. I am attaching the frame on top of the panel with a mounting tape. Then I am attaching the framed panel to the card base using some foam squares. I have also die-cut the smallest circle from Pinpoint Circle Layers set and now I am mounting it right in the center of the wreath. To create a focal image I'll be using Fishtails stamp set by Memory Box. It has nine different fish images plus a couple of uh, seaweed images. I'll need six fishes for this project. I'm going to stamp all images with the Versamark ink and then heat emboss them using the white embossing powder. I'll be using distress markers to color all the fish. My coloring method is super simple. I'm just filling in the space between the lines with solid color. No sh shading, no blending, just using the bright pure colors. Because distress markers are water-based, they will not tint the emboss areas. When the images are colored, I'm going over each fish with a broad end of tumbled glass distress marker. You'll see why I need this in a moment. Then I'm going to use the matching dies to cut out all the fishes. So now I have a thin blue border all around the images that will help them to stand out more against the white background. To create a sentiment, I'm going to color the strip of cardstock with tumbled glass distress ink. Then I am adding some peacock feathers on one side. I don't care for smooth blending and although it might look horrible at the moment, it will be fine when we do the die cutting. This die is Lovely Thank You by Memory Box. You can see that now we have a nice gradient of blue on this die cut. I have cut the sentiment two more times out of white cardstock and I am layering all three die cuts to build up some dim dimension. I 
I have used a piece of craft foam covered with double-sided tape and a matching fish dye to cut out this shape. Now I'm sticking a colored fish on top of it and I'll do it to all the six fi fish images. Then I'm adhering the fish in the center of the circle and uh, then I'm also attaching the sentiment to the card front. I've made two more cards the same way and then I'm also going to create matching envelopes for these cards. I'm using Martha Stewart's scoring board for envelope making. Now I'm going for the standard 4 bar size. If you are using other tools for envelopes, just choose 3.5 by 5 inch card size and create your envelope. To cut out those triangles, I'm using gift bag punch board, but you can also do it with a scissor. Then I'm also rounding the corners. To decorate the envelope, I'll be using this die called Sheer Circle Trimming. I have a wide cutting board, so I can run the entire envelope through the machine. But if you have a 6 inch wide plate, you'll need to, to fold up the two flaps like that on top of the die and then send it through. Now I can fold all the flaps. Besides matching dies, this stamp set also has matching background stamps. So I'll be using one of those together with three shades of memento inks. Light blue, medium blue and dark blue. You can find the color names in the supply list. First, I'm applying the lightest blue all over the image and stamping it. Then I'm switching for the medium tone and I'm only applying that one at the edges by kind of rolling it uh, over the stamp. And finally, I'm going to use the deep blue for stamping the outline. I like using my envelope notcher tool by We Are Memory Keepers for creating an adhesive free closure. I'm centering it on an, on an envelope and then punching the bottom flap and the top flap. Now I can place a card inside and interlock half circle flaps. The next step is creating some treat bags that are also a part of my party set. I have used Goody Paper Bag by Gumia Pan. I'll need two die cuts to make one bag. I'm using the wreath die again to decorate the front of my bag, only leaving the back side plain. Then I'm folding all the crease lines created by the die. And this is how to assemble the bag. I'm applying some glue at the bottom to stick the two pieces together. Then I'm applying the glue again to the tabs and sticking them as well. All I have to do now is to mount a circle and a fish image in the middle of the wreath, just as I did for the cards. I have made three bags and I also want to add a little text to them to put the name of the recipient onto. 
So I have stamped the three fish images using the background stamps and now I'll be using matching dies to cut them out. I'm punching a hole in each tag. And now I can tie a piece of ribbon to close the bag and I'm also adding a tag as I go. And here is what my finished summer party set looks like. Thank you for watching this tutorial till the end. Please click at any picture to see more inspirational videos. Have a very happy day and I hope to see you again soon.